Hey everyone, this video is about the process of adding a blog to your, your WordPress blog post using Elementor. This is not really about the designing of the blog post. I have other videos about that which I'll drop in the description below, but it's more about the process, the steps involved. Um, it's, I think a lot of people are confused with how to get from your Word document onto the post using Elementor. And that video is going to show you exactly how to do that using Elementor Theme Builder and Elementor Templates. And you're also going to learn how to add photos within your blog post. So um, photos are really important to have within the content, not just written words. You're going to lose the viewer if you have just writing. You're also going to learn how to add like call to actions within the blog post. So things like, you know, uh, subscribe. Or you could even do like a call to action, download a free ebook, or subscribe to our newsletter. So first things first is we're going to go to Elementor Theme Builder. And you're going to create a blog post theme builder template. So I've already created it here, but you're going to go to add new. And you're going to create a single post. And from here, you can select a any of these that you like. Let's uh, no, let's just pick this one, or you can create it from scratch. So you're going to add your blog post title. You're going to have your featured image. You can have pagination at the bottom. More articles. This is pulling an example from my existing blog, but you're not going to have this section. This is going to be created with a template. When you're done, you publish it and set the conditions to all your posts. Make sure that you include um, everything you want in your footer section, and everything you want in your header section. Here's some examples of blog post designs that I really like. I'm going to post these links in the below. So it includes the, the blog post, the category, the author, social share, the featured image. We have 99 designs. They include the blog post, the category, the author, both the author related articles. This one, we have the blog post, the categories, the featured image, the author. And this person is already adding call to actions inside. So these are like uh, lead generating tools that she's added. And a, another lead generator at the bottom here. And of course, um, Elementor's own blog. We have the blog post title. We have the author, the categories, the date, the number of comments, the featured image. At the bottom, you might also like in about the author and a subscribe action. All right, once you've built your blog theme builder post and you've applied it to all your posts, you're gonna go and add a post. Okay, go ahead and add your title. I'm just copying and pasting this from my Word document. You can add some focus key phrase for SEO. There's more options down here. Okay, and then add your category. You can add some tags and fill in the rest of the information. Set a featured image. Okay, once you're ready, you're going to go to edit with Elementor. You can see that the blog post uh, theme builder has been applied to the post. So this is my blog post title, the categories, share, the author, and the date. There's at the bottom more articles and a subscribe section. So this was all pulled over from the, th the theme builder. I didn't have to build this from scratch or anything. Now the next step is to create an inner section as a template that we're going to use for all of our blog posts. So you would just add it in 
and I'll show you what that looks like. So now all I have to do is just click here, copy and paste in my content. The header, the, the paragraph style, the image. Um, and if I have too much to do, I can just delete it. Another thing I can even add to this template is, um, you know, a lead generator within the blog. And then I could just, um, I could just edit this for whatever lead generator tool I want to add uh, for this, for this, for this blog. If you want to add a subscribe to the newsletter within the post, not at the end, not just at the end, you can add a form in there and style it. So just add whatever you want in the inside of the blog post. It's better to make it bigger than shorter so that you don't have to duplicate things or add new things to future articles. Once you're done building that section, you want to go right click and say save as template. Blog post here, section. So for the purposes of this video, I'll show you and I'm going to re-add it. So there it is, everything's there. And I'm just gonna literally go in and add my content. And all right, so I've gone ahead and added all of the text, images, links for this blog post, uh, as well as the formatting, and it looks great. And we have everything below here that the theme builder brought in. The adding this blog post probably took me about five to ten minutes, give or take, to add in the images and everything. Um, yeah, so that's it. You Once you create your theme builder, you create just for the header. And the theme builder blog post just uh, includes also just the footer area. Once you're done, you create a post and you're going to create a section, one section for your blog post. And you're going to add in the header, the, re the text, images that you're going to use as a template. Once you finish that template, you're going to save the template and then just add the template into every single new post that you create. All right, I hope this process made sense. I know it's a bit confusing how to go from designing and developing a blog post to actually um, making one live. So please, if you like this video, subscribe and like and look forward to seeing uh, your comments and giving you guys more videos.